I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah, I can't believe this black guy. I know it's a black guy. I never see the black guy, but I can hear him. I know he's black. Now, come on now, man. Come on now. Now, since you, when you hear somebody talk, you tell this human being is from African descent. How you know that? I could hear it in his voice. I could hear the Negro in him. Okay. And for whatever reason, this black guy records this video, mm -hmm. and he uploads it. Yeah. And this video, you just took an L. Yeah. I can't believe you uploaded a video where you're taking an L, but you're so oblivious to what happened, you think you won the conversation. If, if this is true, what you're saying, then he's definitely black. Definitely. Only a Negro would do something like that. <laughs> Y'all be the judge. Let's go to video. Oh, yo. You just hit my car? You just hit my car? No, I tapped it. Just to say, don't stop right there. You stop right in the sidewalk. It's a tap. Bro don't, bro, don't do that to my car, bro. What's wrong with you, bro? It's a way of talking to you. Don't stop in the middle of the sidewalk. Hi. Yo, this ain't this ain't real, is it? What's that? Is this real? Is this really? Are you gonna really gonna take out a gun and shoot me now? Is this really <laughs> happening? Yeah, I'm talking to you like an adult. One adult talk. Oh, that's new to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro. Why would you upload that video? Like you're offended by somebody texting your car? I mean, well, you. I mean, uh, he's not a police officer. He's a guy with pink gloves. Who do you think he is? <laughs> no, but I've happened when I've done that in New York, and somebody did that to my car. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was just I was downtown, and I was I don't even know why I was driving at any time because I was blocking the intersection. Right, 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 right. But you didn't act react like him. No, I didn't take out my camera. I was like, man, I ought to run him over, but I ain't touching my car, man. I'm a Negro. We 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 got a pet peeve about people touching our car. Yeah, we have, we have a propensity for, for violence. <laughs> You see what he said? He said, well, you going to take out a gun and shoot me now? <laughs> yeah, he definitely was a black guy. He stereotyped you. You know why? Because there's a bunch of Negroes out there doing crazy stuff. Yeah. Boy, he, boy, man, he, he, man, that dude was, I, I'm not, I don't think it has nothing to do with your race, but that dude was in intellectually superior than you. He was talking down to you and. And he did it politely. And, and he did it politely and you still didn't catch on. <laughs> and to make things worse, man, you record it. And then uploaded it. Like, look, I experienced racism. I don't think you have the worth all that you even have a driver's license. You're a threat. You're a detriment to society. <laughs> he was trying to warn you, hey, this is pedestrian crosswalk. Hey, move your car back. What you yeah, he said, I'll give you a little tap. Well, this stuff, what I'm saying, is probably going over his head. Yeah, and then at the end of the video, as he's walking along, he says, it's green. It's green. Like, that means it's pa it's pa he's patronizing you. That means go, Negro. Patron, I do was condescending and patronizing, and he did it so politely he didn't even catch on. Yeah, maybe his pink gloves threw him off, cause that would trigger me. I stopped thinking, man. Who this guy think he is? He got pink gloves on, talking to me like that. Who he think he is, huh? I'm a man. <laughs> man, I actually feel sorry for the black guy. I don't. He deserves everything he gets. That's what happens when you don't pay attention in school. You get stupid. Yeah. Every time he had a book report, he probably just read the uh, the theme of the book and then based around that. <laughs> like what we used to do. He probably read one or two chapters and then read the last two chapters. I remember we used to do that. It was like fourth, fifth grade. He had to do a book report. I didn't read the book. I just read the back of the book and it tells you, you know, <laughs> it's just like, look here, you're not the first Negro I ever taught now. <laughs> I know what you Negroes do. <laughs> you, <laughs> you cut corners. No, I didn't. She didn't say that. She was just all kids do that, just not Negroes. You, if you white and you laughed at that, you're racist. No, it ain't. It's truth. Facts can't be racist. Shut up. Damn good show. Damn good show. Hey, we, got we need more men out here with these pink gloves checking these Negroes. <laughs> That's what we need, man. We need more people in society like that. You know? Hey. Dude's breaking the law. Some dude tried to correct him, and he think he has the, he has the, the, the he's entitled to have a discussion about something he did wrong when he didn't acknowledge what he did was wrong. He tapped his car. And you know, you see what else he did? He misrepresented it, what Pink Gloves guy did. Pink Gloves, hey, he knew what he was doing. He was trying to uh, solicit a response. 
to put on YouTube, TikTok, to say, look, the world is out to get me because I'm a dumb black Negro. Hey, we got a new giveaway going. We give away 10,000 cash on a Ford F-350, and if you enter the day, you get 10 times the interest. So you're more... You're 10, 10 times the interest? Yeah, so right now you Are get you 10 crazy? times... 10 times? Yeah, it's crazy. That means that 10 times more likely to win the trip. Uh, yeah, go to... That's Fisher, crazy. Yeah, go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically entered to win. Yeah.